I'd like to use my phone a friend, Regis. Yes? Jerry, I'm freaking out. I couldn't find a single candle inside this place. You're kidding me. I can't believe it. Did you look well? Yes, every single room, drawer, box, cabinet, nothing. No candles. All right, listen. The town isn't too far away. No more than 20 minutes drive. If you can't find some candles there, I'll eat my hat. You'll eat your whole closet. <laughs> this is getting on my nerves. Come on, it's just a quick ride. You know how to get there? Yeah, I saw it on my way here. Did you call Mr. Busy Electrician, who couldn't hold on for just five more minutes? Seriously. Yes, he'll be doing me another special favor, and we'll be going there tomorrow afternoon. It's the best he can do. You have to bear in mind it's Sunday. We'll charge extra, of course. I don't care. I have no power. I'll get him myself if he doesn't show up. Calm down. Drive to the town before it gets too dark. You won't be able to find your way back if it does. Yeah, I had to buy some food anyway. There you go. Godspeed. And drive safe. Okay. Nothing else. We can check out the town. Maybe there'll be some people there who can shed some light on what, uh, what went on in this house. To town, then! What? What? The car would not start. It was only then that I realized I had left the lights on. You dummy, Michael. The car battery was dead. <laughs> Wonderful! <sighs> This is another fine mess you've gotten us into, Michael. What do I do now, Jerry? the lights on the car ran out of batteries all because of that bloody fog jerry you've got to help me get over here michael look at the time i can't drive to northumberland right now but jerry i can't spend the whole night without one single source of light i barely know this place and i won't be able to find my way heck i don't even know if it's rid of ghosts yet don't say that please It's not helping, and you're the one who got me into this mess in the first place. Hold on a minute. It's not my fault if the electrician missed you for a few minutes, there aren't any candles in a three-story mansion, and your car's battery was low. Okay, okay, listen. When will you be coming back to Rothbury? I'll be arriving home early tomorrow morning, and I'll come for you shortly after. We'll drive to town, stock yourself up, and then spend the rest of the day in your garden, while we wait for Mr. Electrician. Sounds like a plan? Sounds yeah, good to me. Yes. And I don't think there's any plan B either. I'm afraid not. Sorry. I really took all the precautions to make your stay there as comfortable as possible. But I guess sometimes things are just meant to go wrong. Apparently. All right. I'll be on my way then. Call me back if you need anything. And Michael? Yes? Just don't let this situation get on your nerves. I promise it won't. Goodbye. Well, I won't. It already has. True story, I used to sleepwalk when I was a kid. Never remember any of it, but I would do it. I think I've done it maybe once or twice as an adult. The time was 6 p.m. Huh. Wonder if that's enough time late enough to go to sleep. 
do need to make one more call to him, though. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Do you know anything about the previous inhabitants of this house? Murder? You're kidding me. A murder? Oh, you might have told me that before. I love the details, but sadly I don't know very much. It's old history, really. Although it caused quite a stir there in Rothbury. It seems the owner, James Blackwood, I think, went mad and killed his wife. Yeah. Do you remember the date? Makes sense. May 1963. James. James Blackwood, according to the yeah, stuff it's James. I can read. Oh, so you're already turning the place upside down? I should have thought so. There's enough material for a whole series of stories here, you know. After you finish your book, my friend. Yeah, yeah. But it can never hurt poking around a little. Would you just get back to work? Call me if you need anything. All right. Goodbye. Ask him about that safe, too. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? I found a safe box in a room upstairs. Would you happen to know the combination? I think I should. Let me see. Hmm. I did take note of the combination once, but I don't have it here right now. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Okay? Great. Thanks. Alrighty. So now we have a date. Why don't we go back up and uh, look through those magazines a bit. It is starting to get dark out, it looks like. Though it is still only six. You can skip the transitions, um, and if I get, you know, if I get really excited or I could get really bored for some reason, I'll just hit escape and the transition will skip forward. At least I'm finally starting to learn my way around here. Okay, May 1963. The Journal, Northumberland Daily Newspaper, Tuesday, 25th of May, 1963. Terrible news shocks the community of Rothbury. Mr. James Blackwood, distinguished resident of this town and a widely acknowledged construction engineer, was accused of murder yesterday by Miss Ava Mariani, maid of the Blackwood family. While the nature of this situation is of the most unusual, given that Mr. Blackwood is a highly respected gentleman, Miss Mariani, an Italian immigrant and aspiring photographer, affirms to having a photograph that supports this accusation. I knew no one would ever believe me, so I took a picture of him, she says. I was supposed to be in town during the afternoon, but I didn't have the need to... I mean, I didn't have any errands to do, so I was in my room and saw the shadow out in the garden. When I glanced through the window, I just couldn't believe my eyes. The lady. Oh, God, the sole thought of it sends shivers down my spine. The photograph in question is in possession of the authorities, and it has been revealed that it clearly shows Mr. Blackwood burying a shape in his garden. We can almost confirm that the shape is a body, says Police Chief William Bailey, but even if the image is not clear, this alone with Miss Mariani's statement is enough to open a serious case against Mr. Blackwood. Police officers are already heading to the Blackwood Manor as we speak. Up until this accusation, it was believed that Mrs. Catherine Blackwood was on a trip. According to the information we received from the school where she teaches, the police chief continues, a notice was sent to the teacher's department, which stated that Mrs. Blackwood had to leave on a sudden trip and that she would make use of her license to do so. Miss Mariani's accusation puts Mr. Blackwood in a very compromising situation. Even if we can't find anything in the garden, he has a lot of splaining to do. The efforts of Dr. Christopher Milton, one of Rothbury's most respected doctors and longtime friend of the Blackwood family, to minimize the facts have been unsuccessful, and the news is the subject of discussion throughout the whole town. Hundreds of rumors are crossing the land. Theories range from plausible and well-conceived to wild and crackpot ideas. But the question that keeps lingering in everybody's mind, for which the answer is yet to be found, is... Why would a wealthy and educated man cold-heartedly murder his wife after 30 years of marriage? Why indeed? 
Is there anything else here? No, that's the only one. Okay. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about what might have happened here. Don't like the idea that there was a murder where I'm staying. Not much I can do about it right now, though. Ah, it was getting late. Perhaps it was now a good time to go to sleep. I'm still a little antsy about doing this, so I'm going to save before I hit the hay. I lay down on the bed. What the fuck is that? What's going on with the camera? Okay, who is doing that? the thing. Oh, jeez. There is a door behind there. This wasn't here before. Oh, God. I was awakened from my strange dream by some odd noises reverberating around the room. seem to grow louder. <sighs> the eponymous scratches. I listened carefully as I moved the stethoscope around the fireplace. Yes, the noises were coming from there, but I still couldn't determine their source. So if that was just a dream, I'm just going to check the gallery just to be safe. No? Can't move it. The bottom of the case seemed to have some kind of panel. It was firmly stuck in place. Can this open it? Yes, now I see wheels. I bet I can move this thing. Well, not now. Yeah, I bet there's a door back there. I bet that's what the dream was trying to tell me. But who is doing the telling? scratches anymore. Nope, yes I am. 
I gotta get lower. I gotta go down to the first floor. Of course, I'm betting they're in the basement. Of course. Oh, I don't want to go down there without light. were definitely spreading through the fireplaces, probably via some conduit. I concluded they had to be coming from below. Of course they are. And I'm gonna be stupid enough to have to walk into the basement and look for it. I thought about investigating, but then I realized the basement would be pitch black at this time. I couldn't go down there without some light. Thank God for sanity. Finally. else changed in here? No. No, everything looks right. Maybe it'll let me just go back to bed. Because I've had enough of this night. Just as they had begun out of nowhere, the scratching noises stopped. to base. 